Hi there, I'm Matt Hayson, and joining me today is finance expert and director of Baldwin Wicks, Mr. Sam Wicks. Sam, can you take us into the world of mortgages? And I think a good place to start is, what's the benefits of using a mortgage broker? The key benefits of using a broker is uh, firstly understanding the client and uh, understanding their information and what they're trying to achieve. The next step is to research the marketplace for suitable products. There's a huge amount of products out there and there's a huge amount of structures and strategies. Um, what's most important is to understand and match that client with the right lender and right product. Yeah, great, Sam. And how long does the process typically take? I mean, what are banks looking for when they're offering a loan? And there are any fees or charges that you should be aware of? The process of getting a home loan in terms of length is essentially mirrored by the length of settlement of the property. When settlement is due is when the money needs to be due as well. Um, in terms of the approval up front, which is the most important part, obviously, that can really happen in the, in the first few days. Once that happens, the client can then relax, take a load off whilst the broker then manages the rest of the process to ensure everything is due by settlement time. The banks look for different things for different people. Everyone's got different things. Some people are uh, PAYE, some people are self-employed. And so the banks have all have different policies and it's about matching the right person with the right lending policy along with the most competitive and suitable product for them. That's great, Sam. And can I get approval before an auction and also deposit bonds? A few people are using these. Can you let us know what they are? In a heated market, as you can see in Sydney in particular, and the local area, um, properties are selling very quickly. It's most important that you get your finance sorted before going to auction, and banks allow you to do this via a pre-approval. Essentially, they can assess the majority of your financial information prior to you finding a property and have you approved. So the only final condition really is the property is um, suitable and values at the purchase price. Some people don't have, for example, first home buyers or people that already own uh, properties and have a lot of equity. So what they can use is a deposit bond. Deposit bonds are generally issued by an insurance company that the client can then take to auction and use instead of, say, a, a cheque or a bank cheque in, 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 in most cases. Um, what's most important though is um, the vendor is across that and understands that that's what's going to be used as opposed to a cheque because some vendors may not accept that as a, as a legitimate form of deposit. Thanks so much, Sam. That's great advice from one of the best mortgage brokers in the business. If you do need any further assistance, make sure you call us at Cobden & Hasten, or better still, talk to Sam from Baldwin Wicks. I look forward to seeing you next time.